I am Anil Kumar and this video is for my subscriber. As you know, there are very few videos in which we are discussing rotation about a point which is external to the object. So the question here is, rotate the following figure 90 degrees clockwise about the point 1, 2. So we are given the figure here. Now let us see how to do it. This will also help you to understand the process slightly better. Okay. Now, rotation clockwise. Let's first figure out what really happens when you rotate clockwise. If I have an object, let us say, with coordinates x, y, right? So that's the coordinate. And if I rotate this clockwise, 90 degrees, it really means that I'm going to, and that I'm doing about the origin, okay? So rotate it about the origin. In that case, what really happens is that x and y coordinates flip, right? So we get y and x, and you can see that the y values become negative, right? So, so this, this becomes y value, which is negative. You get the idea, right? So that is rotation about origin. So this is, this is we can say, clockwise about origin. Now the thing is, we want to rotate about another point. Here is the point. Let's call this point P, uh, whose coordinates are 1, 2, right? So 1 and 2. We are not rotating about the origin. We are rotating about the point P. So that's the real question, correct? Well, we'll take help of this concept. Let's read the question once again. It says, rotate the following figure 90 degrees clockwise about the point 1, 2. So let us see how to do it. Now the easiest way to do it is that think about P as the origin itself. In that case, we have a new coordinate system. Do you see that? So if I change the coordinate system, let us say this is my new coordinate system. Okay. So this I'm calling as new coordinate system. So that becomes my new coordinate system origin. Now what we will do is, based on this coordinate system, whose origin is on the point of rotation, we will find all the coordinates. So that is how we will do, right? So let's see how to do it from here onwards. So in this figure, you will see that, uh, let me mark these points. Let's say these points are A, B and C. C with the re reference to the new coordinate system is what? So it is to the left two units, right? So you say this is at origin is at now 1, 2, right? So 1, 2, minus 2, 1. So the coordinates for C is minus 2, 1. Do you see that? From this point, the coordinates of B will be not minus 3 and 2, but if you go left from here, it is 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? So it is minus 4 and 0. So those are the coordinates for B. As far as A, which was at origin earlier, in the new system, you have to move one unit to the left and two down. So, so the coordinates points for A will be one left and two down. So these are the coordinates for point A, right? So we'll say, we'll write down new coordinates here. So let's write down new coordinates for these three points. A for us is minus 1, minus 2. B is minus 4, 0. And C is minus 2, 1. Correct. So now P is the origin, right? So we're talking about a new system whose origin here. So we'll apply this concept. That is to say that now we will flip these, right? So we'll flip these coordinates and make the y value negative, right? So we get the image of these. So image, let's say a dash will be, when you flip, you get minus two here. When you flip, this comes there, but sign has to be changed, so it becomes plus one. You get an idea. For b, b dash will be, you get zero here, and that becomes negative of four, negative four, which is positive four, correct? And in this particular case, 
c dash will be 1 and minus 2 becomes plus 2 correct so it becomes negative of this it becomes plus 2 so those are your new coordinates with reference to your new system right so in the new system let's put these coordinate points so these coordinate points will be a is minus 2 1 so the origin is now at p right so minus 2 from here will be 1 and then 2 that is minus 2 and 1 is going upwards so that point c becomes a dash so when you move it 90 degrees that becomes a dash never realize that it will coincide okay so this is a dash for us b will be 0 4 so 0 and 4 up right so this point will go up 4 units up so from 2 it should go to 6 right so 1 2 3 kind of going up right here so that is that is b dash for us right so I just took the values at random so this is b dash 0 and 4 right never realized it will go out of the scale okay doesn't matter c will be 1 plus 2 so 1 to the right and 2 up 1 2 so that becomes the point c dash for us right c dash will be 1 and 2 joining these points we get our transformed rotation correct so a dash b dash c dash so let's connect them so this is this is what we get so let me just connect them with a straight line okay and then that point so it's a rotation it gives you a congruent figure and as you can clearly see this is rotated 90 degrees if you connect this a and a dash they are at 90 degrees clockwise correct so 90 degrees clockwise as you see this clockwise so that is the rotation and I hope these steps help you to understand what the coordinates are now with reference to the old coordinates correct so with reference to the old coordinates now you can r read the real values so let's go back to the old system so we have original system So you can read the values that is from here right so this value is at minus one three right minus one three and b is one and then here it is six right so one and six and for c you can read from here it is two and four two and four now another way to do this is that at this stage since the origin we are talking about the original what we need to do here is to take care of this how much do you move here you move one left right one left and two down correct one left and two down from where you are picking up the values is it okay so so this value will be you can do reverse of this correct so what you do here is that you add one so you add one and then you add 2 right to change it to the original so if you add 1 you get minus 1 if you add 2 you get 3 if you add 1 you get 1 if you add 2 you get 6 if you add 1 you get 2 and then if you add 2 you get 4 right so the coordinates of point P you should add right so that is what you are going to add to get your final answer which you can see here as a dash b dash c dash now the same points a dash b dash c dash those were the points in modified systems this is this is modified system is that okay now in the original system these are your final points so that becomes your answer do you see that so your answer is here as given above I hope these steps help you to understand the whole concept so the concept here is that you can shift the origin to the new point about which rotation is to be performed and then add the coordinates of that point to get your final result that really helps you to simplify and get the solution of such complicated questions i hope that helps thank you and all the best